Hi guys, uh, welcome back to this channel. So for today, let's talk about uh, CDR, Competency Demonstration Report. Now, most of the engineers applying to uh, Australia, um, they, they treat this as one of the main uh, hurdles really, aside from the language test. So let's let's talk about this to basically de demystify you know, CDR. It's not um, it's not difficult, guys. It's just uh, it, it it needs some time to to complete. So we need to complete three reports, and um, on average, probably each report would be about I don't know how many, probably four pages. In my case, four pages. So uh, don't be worried about about the report. Just just really uh, take it one at a time. And then uh, complete uh, complete one re one report at a time, and then you never know um, you'll be able to finish the, the whole uh, three reports. So uh, I hope uh, this video, guys, will uh, help you. Um, I'm I'm happy to to share my CDR report if you want. Um, just just let me know, message me, and then then I'll, I'll I'll send it to you so you have some template. And again, um, with, with me sharing the report, so. I am expecting uh, you guys that you are all professional. Uh, we're not, you know, we're not doing plagiarism here, copying the reports. So I, I trust the report in, in in your good hands. So hopefully it can it can help you. All right. I hope uh, uh, this this can help you guys. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye bye. Now let's talk about uh, CDR or competency demonstration report. But uh, before uh, anything else, first step is really for you guys to download this booklet from uh, Engineers Australia. Um, search in Google or uh, just just search uh, Engineers Australia booklet. The latest one as of this date is this version, March 2020. Because this booklet will guide you on how to um, get your assessment uh, completed with Engineers Australia along with uh, the CDR. But for today's video, we'll just focus on CDR. And what is a CDR? So as I mentioned, this is uh, the uh, report that we need to do if uh, if you happen to, to come from a country that's not, um, shall we say, recognized by, by Australia in terms of uh, engineering education. So there are a few, few things here that we need to, to note, like this one. This is what I'm referring to. Um, I think mostly from, um, well, especially for for uh, engineers coming from the Philippines, we obviously we the, our qualification is, is not Australian qualification. Um, I believe we are not also part of Washington Accord and uh, Sydney Accord and Dublin Accord, so we will fall on this category, uh, the recognized qualification. Now, because we are not part of this system. Uh, there's no way for uh, engineers Australia to know um, regarding regarding the um, validity or um, in um, regarding the um, uh, credibility of, of of our qualification. So that's why they they are requiring us to come up with a report, and uh, we need to come up with three reports. Uh, that is called the CDR competency demonstration reports. So I'll go through the requirements of those reports and uh, basically tips on how to complete that report. So just uh, direct you. I'm just, I'll be using this uh, this booklet uh, all throughout the video because this is really important and we shall be basing all our our requirements from this booklet. And uh, to be perfectly honest, this booklet is uh, more than enough to, to complete the CDR. Let's talk about let's talk about the the streams. So um, this video is is for professional engineer. So we are basically um, uh, doing the CDR as professional engineer. Uh, obviously, there are some other types here, but uh, for now we we'll just be talking about professional engineer. And then this is what I'm talking previously, guys, regarding the 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 qualification now. Um, if you are not in here, you probably end up in here. So, like myself before, um, from Philippines, I I'm part of this, so I have to do the to to do the report. 
And now, regarding regarding the report, it's I think at at this point of time, I need to stress out that um it is it is very important that you make your own report and do not plagiarize. Um, do do not even attempt to copy other reports because um, it will put you in a very bad position. And for sure, Engineers Australia has some techniques to to identify you know plagiarism. So yeah, just just a reminder, guys, because I I know there's a lot of um, uh, services out there doing some 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 CDR report or. But yeah, just 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 mean just be mindful of that, guys. And if this is not uh, this is not uh, complicated to to do really. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, breaking down into pieces, so it's more manageable. So, like like any other task. So in this case, we are tasked to do three reports. Yeah. So don't don't worry about the three reports. Just worry about the first sentence, and then it will then worry about the first paragraph, and then you you never know. You'll you'll finish the the, the three reports. So just um browsing here guys to show you the um content of this booklet and we are now on this one the cdr assessment report and you will be required to provide some evidence um for your cdr reports so basically um you need to provide your tor for your education and if you are um in one of your reports if you are referring to uh, employment experience then you need to provide some sort of a proof that you were actually employed but by, by that employer so in that case they 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 know you're not you're not just making up the report right so um i think that i think that 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 that, that makes sense yeah so here um let me just go through show you so you need to write uh, three career episodes so meaning meaning to say um when you um uh, uh started your career uh, most likely you, you have you ha you've been part to different projects um maybe from your previous employer or the next employer or for the same company you will uh, you're involved in different projects so revisit those projects and um think of some think of um engineering um engineering uh, role or engineering uh, task that you completed and uh, basically put it in a in a report but note guys there is a there is a system or a a, a uh, to follow like a like a pattern to follow so that it would be easier for uh, engines australia to to evaluate your cdr or else you know if we are writing it in a in our own way then it would be difficult for them so this is what I'm trying to say, guys. So see how how they say we need to to put like a number of the paragraph. I, I will I will show my my uh, CDR. I've completed this I think in, back in 2015, but I, I think it's still um still valid when I when I'm looking at this again. I think it's only the the CPD that uh, I, I will show you guys because uh, it's it's important to show. So basically, you need to submit CPD and uh then one report and then another report so three reports basically in the end summary so i'll probably just start with the cpd so i think from the latest book booklet uh what they required is um in a tabular form so just follow that guys i think previously uh, what i've completed is really in a in, in this format but in when i look at the booklet it is in the, the you need to tabulate this one so really just straightforward, uh, gather all your C, um, CPD, continuing professional development, my case, I've done all these things. Um, so location, who's the company, duration. So list all your, your CPD. So this is more related in my, my work as, as transmission line engineer before, so, and also structural engineer. So, so just list this one, then this, this is only one page. Um, then set aside and then that's it. You're done. Done with the first requirement. Now you go to the the career career episode. So I'll, I'll share you guys. I've worked with this company before uh, when I started. So um, so you see there there is a specific specific uh, format. 
and then one thing I, I need to, to note is see how, how we number the paragraph because this will be useful later on when you're doing your summary. And then the first part would be a background. So the booklet will, if you read the booklet, it will say something how, how we write the background. So it's really just, just a background and then put some, some numbers in, put some, um, some um, uh, organizational chart if you want. Do not put a lot of tables, calculations. They they, they don't need it, guys. Um, for 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 engineers Australia, they just want to see how how did you apply your engineering uh, education or experience for, for the task. So so this is the, the this is how we do it. And then after the background, you have the um, personal engineering activity. So exactly, um, so you see how, how we use the words like I, I developed the spreadsheet, um, I did the breakdown. So that's, that's the key here, guys. Uh, it's like it, from your point of view, how, uh, how, how, how did you basically contribute? What's your contribution to the project and how it's related to, to, your, to your engineering education? So you see it's all I, I determine the usage category. So it's, it's all I. So you do this and then um, and then in the end, uh, there is like a summary of, of, of basically what, what, what you completed. And then that's it. You're done with the first report. Now, the, the usual question here, yeah, like um, I don't know what, what report to write. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I've been in the industry for the last so I don't know, two years, I'm just new to the industry. Uh, what report should I write? So um, the, the, the booklet is saying you can actually use your um, uh, engineering engineering um, task or probably a thesis or uh, I don't know, a research in the under, undergraduate program um, that, that you can use as you know, your, your first um, career episode. So that would do, because uh, if, if you use that one, then you'll be, be able to to um, demonstrate that you have the engineering uh, education and then and and then with with the research or thesis or undergrad project uh, easily you, you you can do this now so you have one down so you have two more to go uh, just think of any project um, related so obviously the project should be related to your to your um, profession yeah so if you're seeking for a assessment for civil engineers so obviously we, we don't include projects like you know uh, other other non-related because obviously in the office right so sometimes you will be involved in in other projects not totally related to your to your field because it's part of the office environment right so just just select those those ones that are related to to engineering so so there you have it guys so you have first career episode uh, and then second and third and and then you you, you number it accordingly so like this so i put two point one two point two and then uh so on and so forth and then same here you number this paragraph and then in the end there will be a um summary statement that you need to create so see this this question this first column here exactly just just on the booklet if you go to the booklet there is a uh, page uh, summary statement just copy this one and then uh, answer this one in, in in a brief format and refer the paragraph because what the i think what they'll do is they because they 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 will um, look at you uh, as per these points and like example um, pe 1.1 comprehensive theory based understanding of the underpinning natural etc so then you need to put some some words here. How did you uh, apply this one? And then as a proof, which paragraph of all your reports? So example, let's go to my example. Yeah. So example here. So I said that I was able to use my knowledge as structural engineering, computing load, etc., etc., etc. And then this referred to CE 1.6. So I mean to say this is career episode uh, paragraph 1.6, CE 1.15, and uh, CE 3.13. So three, I quoted three paragraphs from two different reports. So just do this, complete this, and in the end, um, 
you will be able to to complete uh, the CDR. So yeah, that's 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 it really in essence. Now, it looks simple. It looks simple because you know I've I've done I've already completed this. But the the key here is um, if you have a template like in in my in my case before uh, I also was shared like a CDR of previous uh, professional who completed this. It was much it, it's it's much more easier guys to complete this if you have something like this now i'm happy to share mine uh for those who want a copy of this i'm i, I don't need this anymore so you can you can have this as as um as basis as as a reference but obviously guys as as i remind you do not plagiarize uh use your own words as 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 much as possible um and and it will it will be obvious uh, once you know you're you're reading something that's not really your work. So um, happy to happy to share this to you guys. So uh, to provide you some guidance and um, make sure to read the booklet. Um, I just basically touch on the you know just 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 a tip of of CDR. There's a lot of details here, guys. And to be honest, it's not it's 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 not. Uh, so see, there's 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 a format introduction. You know words uh, background uh, what what are the things that uh, they're expecting to see in this yeah. then lastly uh, make sure to have uh, have someone like a, your friend or previous teacher to check your your um, uh, reports you know you don't want to to have some some grammar errors or something so um, and also it, it must be coherent yeah so once somebody is reading this, it should be coherent. Um, so yeah, have someone to 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 check your your report. And that's it, guys. I I hope this is quite helpful. Um, yeah, let me know um, for any questions. Um, just just comment in the, the the chat box. And yeah, if you if if you need, just 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 message me. Happy to happy to share it. That's it. Thank you. See you in the other video.